yeah hello guys so welcome back to my channel i just thought of something um anyway it has to do with this my hair um was it saturday now yeah i actually did that to do the hair on saturday but i could not i can't remember exactly what happened okay i remember now because i've not washed the hair so i could not uh, go to the salon so on sunday i just took myself to return from church i will I look for a salon nearby and do the hair. So I I was coming. I saw some salons on my way, but I said, okay, so they are I prefer where I would just make an arrangement down, come and park the car in the house, and then go back to do the hair. So it was in that course. I remember there was one very, very near to my estate. So I said, okay, it's better let me just do this. So when I got there, I saw the shop was locked. Then the neighbor that was selling that has a shop near near right there. So I asked her, I said, okay, so where are these people that I want to do my hair? She said, ah, that she doesn't know that the phone number is there. So I called the person. Then when I called the person, she she picked the call and she now told me, oh, ah, is that girl not there? Ah, my girl is supposed to come today. Okay, that uh, yeah, I should, I should, um, I should just, um, no, anyway, she was as well describing for me her place, her plan. I told her, I said, no, that I, I, I saw salons in the, on my way as I was coming, but I didn't want to stay far away from the house. So that's why I want somewhere just near my estate. So that I don't want to go to anywhere. All the place she was describing, I said, I don't really, I don't really know them. That's so she should, um, she should just, she was describing and describing the place. I said, okay, I was driving, she said, okay, that I should pick, she said, I didn't want to carry the car, and I didn't want, you know, at times you can go there, you'll be held back, and you, you will just say, okay, I wasted so much time, you're going to stay, and I don't want to come back home when it's asleep, because it was already afternoon, because I had to do some things in the church, and all of that, so I had to stay back, and because of that, I was a bit late in returning to the house. Now, like I was saying, this was a, uh, this was what um, kept me back. So I just cannot imagine myself because I was very hungry then. I have not eaten since morning to now start to go and stay in one salon and all of that. So, and I've not washed the hair. So eventually I said, okay. So we agreed that, okay, I'll wash the hair that her girl will soon come. I said, okay. When the girl comes, that's best. I had to go home to eat. That's when the girl comes, that uh, I should not worry. When the girl comes, she will come by. Well, I told her the kind of hair I want to do. Is it okay she will come by herself and come and do the hair um so so that was what she she said so i believed her so for that reason i said okay let me go and take if you call it lunch or breakfast or, or, or brunch so let me go and take it then i'll come back and as i wash the hair then i'll come back so i did all this then as i stayed and after myself i was feeling so tired and weak I just said, I don't even want to go out. Let me call her and ask her if she could even come and do home service. So I called her. When by then I think I washed the hair and all of that. She said, Ah, and that she does, but the, but the thing is that she was uh, already engaged, so she will come. I said, Okay, no problem. Let me get ready and go to the salon, to your salon. She said, Ah, but is the girl not there? I said, I'm, I'm not yet there. So is the, I don't know whether the girl is there or not, but I'll just go and. Uh, do the something she was, so she was just telling me she's busy in the shop that uh, uh, the girl should be there now. I said, but you told me before you were going to come and do the hair yourself. And the long and short of it is this I just told myself there was no point forcing her. So I actually forgot about the fact that I used to do home service for me before because actually for quite a while you see the way I carry my hair, I don't tie all these things, I they disturb me. So I just carry my natural hair, but this time I can and I remember, okay, as I was not going to, I remember I did my hair when I go to Lagos. I said, I'm not going to Lagos, so let me find a way of doing it. Because I think once I tried to do it in the village, and eventually I could not uh, get anybody to do it to my satisfaction. So, as I said, I had to do the hair before I leave Abuja. So, anyway, long and short of it is that um, I told, um, I decided to say, okay, let me get ready and go to the salon. So I washed the hair, I did everything. Then I, I went, I just got to the salon. I was shocked the place was locked. So I was wondering what, is, what, what was going on. Then 
I called her. At this point, somebody else picked you. I was saying, my mother is on. I'm like, what are you talking about? The woman told me that she was going to do bed. There's nobody at the salon now. So as I was still standing there, wondering about what to do and all of that, then somebody rolled in with a um, uh, bike. So I asked her, okay, are you the person that was said to come and do my hair? So she was not even attending to me. She just was talking to somebody. Ah, she, she doesn't do hair on Sunday. She doesn't do hair on Sunday. She was just saying all this. And so I'm still talking to the phone, trying to, to get to the person. That, Please, who is it that she was going to say? <coughs> Excuse me. So I, I'll come back to where I'm telling you all these stories. So I, I, <coughs> I decided that, okay, let me, um, so I waited. No, I asked the guest. So you're not saying that, no, she, she doesn't do her. I was saying, you know, I, I was, um, I was like, okay, um, you don't do hair on Sunday, so what, why did you guys make me to waste my time? I could just have left this hair and then I will sort it out maybe the following day or something. So it was right there and then I said, ah, I remember. So there's a young lady that used to come and do my hair in the house before I left for the day. So I said, let me look at it. You know, thank God for my life. I don't actually easily throw away phone numbers. Because I just have this idea that you don't know the day you will need the person's service. So, and that what happened that day. And so, I, I decided to call her. I remember, oh, Amaka, the house, I was her name again. I saw her name, but I don't call her. So, as I called her, she picked. And she asked, said, Amaka, you still doing here? Say, yes, she's doing here. Because at that point, I was just looking at somebody want to give you custom. Now, it's not just about me. You may have a customer and then you don't know how many other customers that customer can bring for you and that is what we talk about when we talk about network marketing that's actually it is the leverage part that is the important part it's not that one of customer and really i was thinking the near my house if, if i'm satisfied that's where i will do my hair you do my hair because i may not mind that the natural hair here is good my husband will be complaining that that is one but then i just told myself i said okay let me even try um see that the hair i saw it was short me maybe i need to do something by constantly doing it so that i uh, get professional hair for it so that maybe i can in that way i'll be able to get it back healthy and uh, looking good so every people admire the gray and all of that it's okay but i just saw that it seems to be giving me a bit of problem so so i was saying uh, i called amaka immediately she picked i said ah. i said do you still do hair she said ah yes she does this and that and i said okay that ah. I, I just remember you now. I said, she said yes, that's her home was back. For a long time, she had not said this and that. So I said, okay. So, you said that she was in a in an end of year party, that it was the, uh, that she would not be able to come that day, that uh, that she come. And I said, okay. That the following day, I actually had prayers in the church. That so, I may not be okay for me. I may not be get home until around six or after six, because anyway, the prayer is usually five to six. That, Maybe we'll make it Tuesday. So she said, okay, Tuesday. Then later in the night, she called me. And um, and she called me. She was saying, ah, what did I say then? This is that, uh, the other one. I said, okay, I said, I saw, I thought you said Tuesday. That, yeah, that Tuesday, I'll make sure I come home on time from work. Then we can do the hair. Then, I think, was it the following morning? I cannot remember. She called again. And I was saying, ah. So what time did I say I will arrive home uh, that day? I said, I told you I'm going to the church. I will go for prayers and I will not come back. The, the prayer is five to six, so I will not come back. He said, okay, that is okay. Once I come, I should call. I will write. I mean, this, this, this girl really means business. So I said, okay, um, no problem. When I'm coming, I will call you. So this is what I did. So once I was on my way, I called her that I was on my way home, that uh, we should meet. She said, okay. Do I have this? Do I have that? I said, okay, this is what I have. And all of that. I, said, I, I forgot by then that she said, oh, do this, do that. I forgot someone said, I said, ah, and I'm not done with you. I said, okay, let's just, if you can get it to buy, you buy it, then we'll use it and all of that. So that was how we agreed. She was, I was like, ah, it's already late. How we should do here this late? But when she comes, she sees there's not what she can do and all of that. Hmm. My people, this girl came in. 
So we started this hair around up to seven yesterday. And she did her hair. We finished around 10.30. Now I was so worried about how we should get to. So I now told her, I said, okay, when you get to the estate gate and you cannot get a means of going back, just come back to the house. I'll give you something, a place to sleep. So that you can, so it's better that, because I know at times, uh, the lonely road behind the estate could be dangerous at times. I said, so if you cannot get transportation, just come back. So, then later, about 30 minutes later, or less or so, I didn't really watch the design. She she called that she has seen the allowed of her payment and then she has written. And today, I think she needed to come and do something to, uh, to put finally finish the purchase to the hair. She was on that call me again. She came, the, she did the hair, she left. It was an hour ago. And I just said, let me do this video because it came to my heart since Sunday that I should do this video because when we talk about business, uh, at times people wonder why they are having issues with their business. Now, this is a girl that I've done my hair and she said, oh, because of that phone issue, actually she has lost a lot of customers. So she was so glad when I called her. She came. If I tell you the things, and even she was going to say, ah, mama, my Christmas things, oh, my this, oh, my that, oh. You know, I was just, her ambience and her good behavior, I had no choice that <laughs> even she was asking me this, she was asking me that, we were asking me that, but I, I was glad to give them to her. I was glad, and I paid her, I paid her money, but uh, also she was very busy, but that is not really the cross of my story, but I was talking about being business-like. I was, I was thinking about being business-like, because if a young lady would tell me, I mean, there's a way you even tell me, okay, I don't work on Sunday, and I, but she was doing it as if she was going to be doing me a favor. I mean, she was telling me as if, please, you'll be disturbing my life for you to even come. And I, and I wonder the lady that told me that, okay, when you come, call me, that I'm going to uh, come over to do the hair for you. And then later she was, okay, it's possible she has people, but I don't look at it that when you are in a business, there's a way you can actually if you also extricate yourself from that thing without really I mean the I did it Yamaka didn't come to do my hair that same Sunday. But she was concerned enough, she told me, Oh, and she had already gone for this party. If not, she would have come. Ah, but uh, okay, please let her do it to Sunday. And I was ready to wait. I was ready to wait because of her approach. Of course, she that was not the first time she was doing my hair. And that was I actually kept her number she had you give me home service for quite a while and i think it was when i left for Benin that we lost contact and all of that so and when i came back i carried my hair naturally so i've actually not been trying all this things in my hair it's only once in a year during christmas when i because of my time i would just want to keep the hair uh, not drying up um i actually forgot this time because i didn't go to mother so so i i forgot this time around that the hair was actually giving me issues that was i had to start looking for how to do something about the hair the point I'm making is, is that when you are doing a business and you have a customer, when you say the customer is always white, it, it, it means that the customer is king. Because when you when you mistreat your customers, you are actually not mistreating only that person, but the other people that the person could have brought for you. What network market is all about is that it's just that you 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 patronize. And then you bring other people to patronize a product, a service, or a company, or whatever. So how are you treating your customers? When your customers feel good, will they give you the A rating? Okay, like, that's, that's a story from another day anyway. You don't treat people as if you are doing them a favor when they, came, when they come to patronize you. You don't. That's just the truth of the matter. At times, even your, your customer can wear thin your, your patience, but you need to be calm. You need to treat them because it is that that will make you to have another customer. And this is just the long and short of why I just felt I needed to do this video. I didn't plan for it to be this long, but I just, I just, I'm just saying something that as a business owner, as a startup, or as a network marketer, either what you do or whatever it is that is your business, even as a government worker, you need to treat your customers well. In my case, as a teacher, I need to treat my students, treat my, treat my students well because you have no right to, to mistreat them. They are human beings too. 
And these are the things that I think we need to learn. This young lady, she did not only get paid, but she also got other things. She got other things. But for me, that is not the cross. The, the issue is that we're already talking about the hair she will do in January. We're already talking about what she will do after that. We're already talking about, and of course, if somebody says they want to do hair where I am, I will recommend her. And I will tell them she can give. It's possible she may even charge them so much higher than what she will charge me for home service. But she was telling me, well, so I'm on, I'm on me because she's my mom, but I'm charging you anyway. I don't know. That, is, that may be sweet mouth. But I, I, I was glad to pay her. I went to the salon, I paid that same amount of money, and I felt I was robbed. But she came here using my material and everything, but I, I, I felt good about it. She came today, she, 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 she came today and finished the work and was very careful about making it look good. And that is what we are talking about. So, before you start complaining that you're not getting patronage, maybe you should look at your attitude. Maybe you look at the way you treat people. That is very key. There was a young lady that she had a challenge, and I was just, there was something she did recently, and I was just telling myself that at times people have this attitude and this behavior, they, they don't know that the problem is with them. They'll be thinking of somebody else. And these are the issues. So learn to change, to treat your customers well. So thank you for, for listening to my ramblings and uh, all my all my advice given. <laughs> but as a startup, as a business owner, to keep yourself in business, you need to learn that your customer is the key. Don't, subs don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to also share it. I mean, people need to hear this. Thank you very much for your time. God bless you.